On Saturday in round six of the 2022 NFL Draft, the Eagles selecting from the University of Kansas linebacker Kyron Johnson. He joins me, Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, at the NovaCare Complex on Thursday, day one in Philly. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Glad to see you. I, I saw you on, on Zoom a few days ago. Uh, uh -huh. what's, what's the week been like for you? i uh, just been the usual, just leading up to this, just trying to stay in shape and getting ready for rookie minicamp for the most part. So You're like the usual, like you've been drafted before. No, no, no. no, no. no. I, I'm not, not like that, but just more in the lines of staying in shape. Let me say that. Was it really an emotional Saturday? Like, were Saturday and Sunday, as you look back, kind of incredible days? I would say that it was just like a, not a breaking point in life, but more of more on the lines of a new chapter in life. And it was just like this is the start of a, a like not a new life, but just a, I don't know how to say it, but more on the lines of a amped life. Let me say that. It's a new it's life. The, I would say it's the NFL. It's the National Football League. And not, and not a lot of people are able to like showcase their talent in the NFL, but I'm one of those people. And so with that, it was, yeah, it was emotional, but it's also, it humbled me as well because... I'm one of those dudes who always looked at it as an underdog, and so I'm just humble to be here. I'm happy to be here. It's a world of taking a 22, 23-year-old young man into a league of grown men who are desperate for their jobs, right? I think that's such an interesting um, idea. Like, you have to project how you're going to fit in against a lot of experienced people. Have you gotten any kind of advice from maybe friends or former teammates who've, who've gone that route? Uh, I got some that is just telling me the same thing. Just be humble. Stay humble to what you're used to and just like don't try to act like a chauvinistic prick. Excuse you. my language, but right. you know how I, you You're know not how privileged. I yeah, privileged don't, don't be that diva. Mm -hmm. So that's how I am. I'm just a humble person. So for the fans who don't know, when you come into Philly, um, what is the first day like? What are you doing? Oh, it's just a bunch of just the usual. They're scanning your helmets and like cleats and just, just the usual. They say that the NFL is really, really fast. Like the pace of everything, super fast. Is that kind of? Are you that kind of person? You're like a quick adapter to things. I am. Uh, I'm just used to everything. I'm used to change. And let me say that because, like I said, I, I come from a school where I had like four head coaches, four like eight or ten position coaches, and so it's just like I'm. I'm adaptive, let me say that. That's that's incredible. Yeah. Did it did it hold you back, do you think? No, I think it actually excelled me in some places, and in, in most places, let me say that, because it helps me to just get adjusted with change, basically, so. Interesting. Have you ever been to Philly in your life? No, never been to Philly. Are you, did you, uh, you going to look around when you get time to do so? I, mean, I, I know it's all football right now. Yeah, I say, I'm, I'm going to look around. I know my parents said they was going to come up here and actually try to bug the crap out of me so yeah oh I like that <laughs> yeah um Kyron let's talk about you and, and just for the Eagles fans who haven't followed you in Kansas at Kansas what made you get to that level of being drafted what what was like the moment that kind of you know you took off as a football player is there one moment it, or was I it gradual it, I say it was more gradual because it was just like I always just worked and just worked and kept my head down and worked and so it was just like more on the lines of just gradually getting to where I want to be you're a speed guy, but you're a linebacker. You can't win with just speed alone in the NFL, right? Like, it's technique, it's going to be toughness, it's going to be being physical, all that combined, right? Mm -hmm. Special teams part of your, your DNA? That's a main part of my DNA, because I, 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 ever since, like, 2017 and 2018, me and this other dude named Emmanuel Moore, we used to be the menaces on uh, special teams. <laughs> we used to always be the ones running down, causing havoc, and so you always – that's – I, I want to be on special teams. That's the main thing for me. That's the interesting part about it because a lot of guys don't want to be on special teams. What is it about it that you like? I like the physicality. I like the fact that you can, there ain't no rules really when it comes to like special teams. You're free. Go, t go take out your angle on somebody. Just go do you. Go get the football. Yeah. Kyron Johnson in Philadelphia to go get the football. Hey, man. Nice to see you in person. Yes. Good luck with everything. Enjoy rookie minicamp and welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you.